Optimizing a WordPress site is crucial. On this video, I'm going to show you a plugin that's called EWWW. This one optimizes images and the site. Right now, there's a special deal, so you might want to check it out. Now, before we jump into the actual video, I want to show you what I've done. I've installed two identical sites, one with the plugin and one without the plugin. They both have the same theme, same images, and the same server. So let's get over to this right now. Now, this is GT Matrix. On the left, we are going to preview the website that has the EWW plugins installed. On the right, it's the same site, everything's the same without these plugins. Now, let me show you these tests that I already ran and I will run them again. For example, for the site that does have the EWW plugin, we're getting 602 milliseconds loading speed. That means that's less than one second. On the right, we have the same site without the plugins and it's loading at 1.5 seconds. Now that's not bad, but man, half the time it took with the plugins. Now I'm going to rerun this test while I am going to show you the actual deal that's going on. So this is the deal that's going on right now. That's EWW Image Optimizer, and it's $99 for the lifetime deal. So that means that you pay once and you can use it forever. And let me show you what that deal actually gets you. So with this license tier one, that's what you're gonna get with $99, is 200 gigabytes of monthly traffic bandwidth. That is the CDN feature. What does that mean? Well, that this is going to load the site in different parts of the world with their CDN. That's going to reduce the loading time and also reduce the loading resources of your server. So that's pretty good, right? You're gonna unlimited images, site speed audits, auto compress, auto WebP, which is super important for Google page speed, lazy load, etc. You're gonna get all of this month to month. And this is going to reset every month and you can use this for 10 sites. Okay, so let's go back into the results. So it's saying that I'm having too many requests right now. Okay, so the test finished again and now we have 727 milliseconds with the plugin, with the EWW deal. And without it, we are getting 1.4 seconds. So there was a slight reduction on the no plugin, but still, it's a big difference. It's more than twice the time it takes to load. Now, let's go into the actual site to show you what I've done. So for example, like I mentioned before, it's the identical site, but without the plugins. So let me go into the plugin section on both of these. And on the one that doesn't have the plugins, there's nothing installed, it's clean. And on the left, we are using the EWW Image Optimizer and the Swiss Performance. Both of these plugins are available with the deal that you're going to buy. So you're going to see this right here. So we have the Swiss Performance also available. So that's also a paid plugin, but it's included with this deal. So you get both of these. And let me show you how this is actually set up. Once you install both of these, you are gonna head on over to the settings and you're gonna get these two plugins. One is the EWW Image Optimizer and you're going to see that I already connected to it. There's an optimization score and this is where the settings are done, okay? So I'm adding, I'm telling it to include all resources for the optimization. I want it to include w, WebP images, WebPG, WebG, sorry and remove metadata. So not a lot of settings going on. It's super easy to get started. And if, you already, if you're already loading this on a website that has images, you will have to run the bulk optimizer. So it optimizes the past images. Now, if you have new images, when you load them in, it's gonna automatically optimize it. So you don't have to do bulk optimization again. And then we have the Swiss Performance settings. Now, Swiss Performance is kind of, it's like a cache plugin. So you're gonna have to tweak this with things that work and don't work. So for example, this is what I enabled for this site. And there's something that I didn't enable, I think. Nope, it was all enabled. So this is working for me. What I did disable was over here on the W image optimizer, and I removed the lacy load because it was costing a, a longer time. So tweak these settings to your liking so you get good results. Now, when you tweak this, especially with the cache plugin, you're gonna have to run test twice, three times, so it actually grabs a cache plugin, so it caches it. That, what does a cache mean? It's gonna load the files and it's gonna have it ready to serve. That's what the cache plugin does. So let's go into PageSpeed now. This is Google PageSpeed with the plugin, all right? There's still, there's still some tweaking to do, and this is without the plugin. So a 56 score and a 64 with the plugin. Let's go ahead and run these again. Let me see if I can run them at the, at the same time. There we go, now we got both of these. Um, not a big difference. There's still some tweaking to be done, but it is better on 
the one that has a plugin. Now let me show you some important things right here, like the tree map. The tree map is going to show you how the actual user is going to be able to view your site. So for example, once they load it in, you can see that it's gonna start showing images faster than it would without the plugin. So let's actually open this in incognito mode. One is this link, and the other one is the same one, but it says no EWW. So let me open up another incognito mode, just so we load it in. Okay, so this one is with the plugin. There we go. I mean, if someone loads this in, it's almost instantly. Let's go ahead, open again, incognito mode, and we're gonna add the no to this. And it's almost instant also. So it's kind of similar to the end user. It might actually look like the same, but we have some differences when it comes to milliseconds because we're talking about 600, 700 milliseconds of a difference from one with the other. But if you want to get better SEO scores based on speed, or if you want a better user experience, it is recommended that you grab this plugin or use something similar. If you don't grab this, grab something similar. Now, like I said before, this is a $99 deal that it's a one-time payment and you get this forever. So it's a great deal in that sense. If you grab the free versions, obviously there's a lot of limitations, limitations with the amount of images, limitations with the bandwidth or no bandwidth at all. And those are kind of the things that you're going to get hit by with those limits. But there you go, that is the deal that's going on. If you wanna grab it, the link will be provided in the description. It's an affiliate link and if you use that link, it'll provide me a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more than what it already says there. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.